A blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people Welcome back, welcome back to the channel Thank you all for tuning in and checking this one out Alright, so a couple of updates to look at in this one So we see where ICC, they have announced um, the fixtures for the official warm-up matches, right? We're going to have a couple of warm-up games and they have re uh, released the fixture uh, the fixtures so i'm gonna go through that let you hear where the games are going to be played when the games are going to be played and who will be played who also i can now confirm that evan lewis is with the west indies um uh, well the training camp that they have going on in antigua for a couple of days now, people have been posting in the comment section and stuff like that saying that Evan Lewis is with the team. I saw all of that, but I couldn't have confirmed until I saw it for myself or got it from a reliable source. And I can now confirm that Evan Lewis is with the squad. Yes, Evan Lewis is with the squad there that is um, um, in Antigua, you know, going through the paces. So um good to see him back let us see if they are going to give him an opportunity to play in any of the upcoming games against south africa let us see the direction that they are going to be taking that so give a listening ear until the end also if you have not yet subscribed you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button also leave a like and let me know what you think in the comment section so taking this one from the west indies official website it says the official warm-up match fixtures for the ICC Men's T20 World Cup 2024 have been announced. They said that matches are scheduled to be played from Monday the 27th of May to Saturday June 1st, right? Across USA and at two venues in Trinidad and Tobago. That's in the West Indies, right? So they said that the venues um, will host 16 warm-up matches. Yes, 16 warm-up matches, my people. A couple of games um, in, the, in the States, you know, and, um, and, and, and also at uh, a few in Trinidad and Tobago at the Queen's Park Oval. So you can go out and, check and, 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 and give them some support and also at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. So it says warm-up um, fixtures will be 20 overs per side and will not carry international T20 status as teams will be allowed to field all 15 members of their 15 player squad. So teams will be allowed to field all 15 members, right? So, you know, you will see man going out there and batting and, and coming in and bowling and rotating and all kind of things when it is a warm up. So it says, in a change from the previous right arm um, right cycle, Teams will now have the option of playing up to two warm-up matches depending on arrival time at the event. Right? So they, they have that option. Now West Indies were slated in that um, time period, were slated to play one, and that's against Australia. But let us remember that we will be playing three games against South Africa next week. So that would be like um four warm-up games, you know? So it says the West Indies against Australia fixtures at Queen's Park Oval, Trinidad and Tobago on, the th on Thursday the 30th of May will be open to fans. It says tickets will be available and you know you can check out their, their, their thing at ticket.t20worldcup.com um, tickets.t20worldcup.com um, to get your tickets or at local box office and stuff. So um, Very very interesting my viewers and subscribers. So let me give you a, um, you know, some information here as it relates to teams that will be playing each other. So warm up match schedule on Monday the 27th of May, we will see Canada and Nepal doing battle, and you know Oman will be going up against Papua New Guinea. Namibia will be going up against um, Uganda. On Tuesday the 28th of May, we will see Sri Lanka and uh, Netherlands, uh, Sri Lanka versus Netherlands. Um, definitely going to be looking out for Daniel Doram in that game. Also, on the 28th, we'll have Bangladesh versus the USA, um, Australia versus Namibia. On Wednesday, the 29th, we will have uh, South Africa 
um, they say an intra squad will, 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 you know, so obviously they are going to be playing against each other to see what, what they, what, you know, to finalize stuff. Um, we're also going to have Afghanistan versus Oman on the 30th of May, which is the Thursday, we will have Nepal versus the USA, and we will see Scotland going up against Uganda, Netherlands versus Canada will also be going on, um, will also take place on that day, right? So, Netherlands versus Canada. We're also going to see Namibia versus Papua New Guinea. West Indies versus so, um, Australia versus Australia. So that's the 30th of, um, 30th of May, West Indies versus Australia. Um, Friday, we will have uh, Isla Ireland versus Sri Lanka, Scotland versus Afghanistan. And on Saturday, June 1st, we will have Bangladesh versus India, right? So you would realize that a couple of teams, you know, not listed there. So we will see if they will have um, if they will have uh, ongoing ongoing um, game, you know if, if if England will have anything. Um, yeah, so they said tickets USA uh, in the US uh, at uh, twenty four dollars, right? And they have tickets uh, at thirty dollars, right? And. Um, yeah, not bad at all, my viewers and subscribers. Not, not too bad, not too bad. Can go out and watch some cricket. So that is that is how it is looking in terms of the warm-up games. So West Indies, as I said, will be playing three games against South Africa next week. And in this period of time, from the 27th to the 1st, we will see... Um, we will see... From the 27th to the 1st, we will have uh, the other teams doing their thing. West, uh, West Indies will be playing Australia on the 30th So yeah, that is basically it for that part Now just before we finish I want to confirm that, you know Over the last couple of days People have been asking about um, Evan Lewis Saying that, you know, he's a part of the training camp And he's there I saw all the messages, all the comments and stuff I deliberately didn't address it Because I was trying to, 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 to look into it you understand even someone reached out on instagram and you know was pointing out that he was there but i i have i can finally say yes you know sometimes when we see and hear things i don't like to run with it until i can confirm it from a um, what i would call a primary source so now i can say that even lewis is there you understand um not too sure not too sure what's going to happen in terms of um the south africa series if we will get a chance to see him because he hasn't been um he hasn't been on the scene for a little while and you know as much as all we we really like even lewis as a player um you know we still we still have to understand that uh you know procedure will have to take place you know people will be looking at um even andre fletcher who some you know would say that should be in the t20 world cup squad some would be looking at him and would be saying that you know he's somebody that should be getting the opportunity also so uh, continue to stay tuned my people I will definitely keep you posted on anything else Big up on yourself, stay safe